I started at the beginning. What was the challenge? What were you trying to do? In our case, it was pretty simple. Māori boys were not achieving. Tell your story to show that you have made a difference to what you set out to achieve at the start. Firstly, the boss put the, uh, the, the pamphlet on my desk. <laughs> It's, you know, it's something to think about. Um, so I sort of looked at it and thought, uh, yeah, that looks like a bit of hard work and, uh, and ignored it for a few days. I was surprised with the amount of work that we'd already done. It's a program that had been running for, for several years. So uh, we had the data. It was just a matter of putting it all together, I guess. Uh, so it was a pleasant surprise, I guess. One of the initial motivators was we had an aero visit coming up the following term. So it was, we might as well do two things at once. <laughs> Anybody could do this applying for the Excellence Awards because it's about you and your journey and if you've got some evidence of all the amazing things that you're doing, then go for it. We shared stories about parent infant classes which, which we provided free for the community. We also shared stories around building relationships with hapu and iwi, celebrations, events, that just that day-to-day -day engagement with parents. We pulled the qualitative out by looking at our strong self-reviews and the learning stories and the, the stories from our whānau. Mm. We looked at our attendance and our behaviour and our academic data and how were we going to present that. that so we broke it down, we chunked it like we do as teachers. Yeah. We looked at, well, what do people need to know? They don't know anything about us and who we are, so how are we going to tell our story? They haven't seen anything like us before. We're not a kōngareo and we're not mainstream you know, centre, so we're always telling our story to people so that they know who we are, where we're from. You know, we come from Te Ahikaro, Kapakaro, Rōpū. Desperate housewives who had their little kids around them and we wanted something different for our children and so we created it ourselves. We were um, talking about a seven year journey so we, were, we had to first of all explain what that journey was. We had explanations of the people we were working with, what their role was, the, the structure within the school. We also sent in video clips. So that was a useful one. I think uh, some of the feedback we got as a school was that the judges found that really useful to see. Putting faces in the school in a sort of a visual sense in front of the judges, not just a, a piece of paper or, or facts and figures. It has to be something that inspired them, because that does come through in the entries. If you, you can see whether or not they've been passionate about it and have got excited about it themselves. So I think that it does have to be something where you feel as though you've made a significant breakthrough of some sort. I just finished my postgrad, and it's a bit, it's a bit like it's similar to doing a, um, an assignment, really. You know, you look at what, the, what they're looking for, you make sure that you've got all the criteria right, you know, and then you just fit your story into that as best you can, I think. I mean, you've got a degree to be a teacher, so you'll know how to do it. Every story has a beginning, middle and end. Whether you're at the end or not, it's neither here nor there, but you should be able to indicate to us the beginning and the middle and where you expect the ending to be and, and have the evidence to support that.